Paris is gorgeous any time of day but especially at night. The city of light comes to life in a whole new way. So tonight I booked a Paris by night tour for my wife and I in an iconic French de chevaux to see all the key attractions by night. And I know that Colleen is going to be excited to see the Eiffel Tower sparkle from up close. So I'm gonna go get ready and pick her up and let's roll. Hello. Tonight, our tour guides are Jean-Jacques and Philippe from Paris Authentique. They'll drive us around Paris in the quintessential charming French car, the Deux Chevaux Citroën. We're starting our tour in Montmartre, the bohemian part of Paris, and home to the world famous Moulin Rouge. Le Moulin Rouge was and still is the most famous cabaret in the world and the world's largest consumer of champagne. Montmartre was a tiny village on the outskirts of Paris, going back to the pagan times. Over the years, the avant-garde flavor attracted artists like Claude Monet, Picasso, Van Gogh, and of course, Toulouse-Lautrec. The beacon on the hill has some of the best views of Paris is a little church called Le Sacré-Cœur. Place du Théâtre is enchanting and Colin just had to stop for a quick stroll. And the classic de chevaux is perfect for navigating these narrow cobblestone streets. The Palais Garnier Opera House was built for Napoleon III and opened in 1875. Many people think of it as home to the Phantom of the Opera. And yes, the chandelier did fall in 1896, and yes, there is a lake underneath it. But it's not like the movie. Opened in 1894 as a luxury bazaar, Galerie Lafayette is a symbol of French luxury shopping. Place Vendôme is home to the world's highest hand jewelry and couture brands. It is a treasured photo stop for brides and a filming location for TVs and movies like Da Vinci Code and Lupin. The Madeleine Catholic Church was commissioned by Napoleon in 1806, and it was part of his plan to make Paris an imperial capital. During the French Revolution, Place de la Concorde was renamed Place de la Révolution. This is where in 1793 both Marie Antoinette and King Louis XVI were guillotined. Today, from this iconic plaza, you can see the famous Champs-Élysées, the Eiffel Tower, and the Gardens of the Louvre. Even if you've seen Le Louvre by day, do yourself a favor and come back by night. It transforms into a magical and romantic setting. More than just being the largest museum in the world with over 380,000 pieces of art like the Mona Lisa, Venus de Milo, Liberty Guiding the People, Le Louvre is simply gorgeous.
Saint-Germain is on the left bank of Paris, or Rive Gauche is where you can find the famous Café de Flore and Les Deux Magots. Picasso, Hemingway, and Oscar Wilde lived and worked in Saint-Germain. Notre Dame is a national treasure. It took almost 180 years to build. Currently closed because of the fire of 2019, but the plan is to have it reopened by 2024. The conciergerie was originally home to the kings of France from the 5th to the 14th century. Marie Antoinette lived the last days in prison there. Today, a cell is open to visitors. La Tour Saint-Jacques is all that remains of a former church that was destroyed in the French Revolution. It was a main stop on the path to the Compostello pilgrimage. The Arc de Triomphe is one of the best known monument in the world and it's beautiful to look at. And this masterpiece was built by Napoleon in 1805 to honor military victories. And the eternal flame under the arch has been burning non-stop now for nearly a hundred years to honor soldiers who gave their lives in service of France. Today, the Champs-Élysées is lined with chestnut trees, restaurants, movie theaters, and high-end designer stores like Louis Vuitton, Dior, and Longchamp. And more than 300,000 people walk on the Champs-Élysées each and every day. The Eiffel Tower was built for the 1889 World's Fair and was very controversial at the time. It was only meant to stand for 20 years, but after World War I, France was broke and didn't have the money to take it down. But today, it's one of the most iconic, romantic, and most visited tourist attraction in the world, and by far, Colleen's favorite. All right, so thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, au revoir.